Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever time of the day it is in your particular part of the world. And I am back in sunny, she said with heavy irony, UK, about to deliver um, Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces All Signs reading. I did one of these last year, it was the second reading I ever did on my channel, out in my courtyard with a handheld camera. Um, <laughs> quite interesting to see uh, and compare this reading to last year's reading and I will post a link uh, down below in the description box. Okay, so what we have here is a card for each of the zodiac signs. I've got my brand new deck that I'm desperate to play with and that's it, let's go. So what I intend to do with this deck is when I've read the, the card for your sign, um, I will shuffle the deck once or twice and just see what comes out. I'm just expecting an additional one or two cards to further enhance the one card reading. Before I begin, I would like to forewarn you of the incredible one year anniversary reading that I filmed back up at the incredibly romantic, atmospheric, very active, spiritually active, ruined chateau where I filmed my first reading with Cindy. Um, that's coming, that's on the cards a year already, guys. Not quite, but almost. Okay, let's go. As I did last year, I am going to start with Pisces because this full moon is in Pisces. And Pisces, you being the 12th sign of the zodiac, are always last. Not on my channel, Pisces, you're first. Okay, let's go. Reading glasses on. We're about two minutes ten. I'll finesse it, but about two ten. Or Pisces. Pisces, you have the two, the seven, I'm sorry, the seven of forces along with balance. All right, Pisces, um, this card is asking for you uh, in the next month or so, up until the next full moon, to maintain a nice steady balance between your working and your personal life. Can you see this desk? We have a pair of weighing scales, balance. We have some scrolls here, neat packages or letters here. The desk is left neat. We have a very neat bookcase and we have a door to clearly a personal living space. I think, Pisces, what you are being asked to focus on under this forthcoming full moon is to ensure that you maintain a sense of equilibrium and balance between your personal and your professional life. When you leave this office, close the door. You've done your work for the day. You've got the work set up for tomorrow. You're not burning the midnight oil. The sunlight is brightly shining. Go out and have some fun. So my new jet and my new deck I'm still playing with. So a couple of shuffles and let's just, oh no, 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 no. We're not taking all of those. Let's just see what comes out. This one, seven of wands. One more. I can feel it already, it's back here somewhere. There. This one, I think. No, not you. Okay. Behind manage your card, Pisces. Okay, the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you possibly feel like this woman. You've got your paddle held high in the sky. You're being 
struck by lightning. But Pisces, you have the higher ground and anyone or anything which comes against you doesn't stand a chance. So you may feel that you are batting off all comers. Sit with it. Don't let anything ruffle your equilibrium. Don't let anything shake you off balance. There are things yet to be revealed, Pisces. Sit with it. You may feel like this lady here. Look at the look on her face. You may actually be paddling furiously beneath the surface, but no one will be able to tell as you gracefully and successfully bat off all comers. Interesting energy, Pisces. For the remainder of Virgo season, find your inner balance. Pisces, if you enjoyed that reading, I hope you will consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Brightest full moon blessings to you, Pisces. Hello Aries, that's going way too fast for me to keep up with the time doing all of this. 6.35 roughly. We'll finesse it later. Okay. Aries, you have the Queen of Keys. Now before I begin to read... The Queen is looking in this direction with this particular deck. Whenever a character card is not looking face on, we look at the card they're looking towards. So Aries, particularly early first decan Aries, who are quite close to Pisces, you might want to consider listening to the Pisces reading because it may have some additional information for you. Okay, Aries, you have the Queen of Keys. This Queen, you really are the Queen of your castle. You're stood on your battlements. You have a book in your hands. You have the keys to your kingdom. And you are mistress of all that you survey. This is the energy that you are in. Also look, you look incredibly excited about whatever you're looking towards, which is balance. So Aries, expect to feel empowered, organized, well balanced, on top of things. She's on the battlements, right? On top of things this Virgo season. I said I would shuffle and see if we can have an additional couple of cards come out for us. Oh, they're flying out to Pisces, too many, they're slow. This one. <laughs> Two queens. And this one. And a knight. Okay. Aries. This was my card of the day. So if you go over to the Batshit Psych Chick Facebook page, you can read up about this card in detail. Just look at this queen. I told you to expect to feel empowered, on top of things, organised, excited. Well, you're not going to get more ex much more excited than this gal. Look at her, winking, dressing herself in a sassy red outfit, feeling in this feline energy, ready to go out and conquer, plunder, take on the world. Aries, you're really feeling it. Look at this knight of swords racing along on his shark with his trident. 
under the full sun. So you are heading towards something full tilt, feeling. This is almost like a Leo reading these two cards. Aries, well, okay, so we're talking fire signs, yeah. Fire sign energy all over this. Expect to be feeling in your own energy, despite this being Virgo season. Expect to be feeling passionate, driven, and yet stable, grounded and balanced. What an absolutely superb reading for you, Aries. If you liked this reading uh, and you're not already, I hope you will consider subscribing, sharing, liking, brightest Virgo harvest moon in Pisces. Blessings to you, Aries. Hello, Taurus, 11.05. Taurus, this is your full moon in Virgo reading. You have the Queen of Scrolls. And this queen is the chosen image for the box. So there's something a little bit special about you, Taurus. We are in an earth sign. We are in Virgo. Knowledgeable, learned, peaceful. We have the light of intuition on her face. She's also, yeah, she's grounded. We've got the ivy and we've got the, I think it's myrtle. There's plants on here. We've sort of got the gossamer web. We've got the uh, arch. Um, this is divine feminine wisdom. This is knowledge, but it's not just all intellectual knowledge. It's intuitive knowledge. So expect to be feeling incredibly intuitive grounded look at all the green around you and the plants and yet a strong connection to the divine for you in the next month or so during virgo season i'm going to pull a, an additional couple of tarot cards from this deck should they want to come out and i think they do they were slow for aries but i can feel them wanting to jump for you Page of Pentacles, perfect for you, Taurus. Pentacles are Earth sign. And this one, lovely. Oh, the High Priestess. I told you to expect to feel tapped into your intuitive knowledge. Let's deal with the Page of Pentacles first of all. Pages often come bearing offers, possibly a small offer, possibly an increase in income, a small raise, a small windfall. And here we have the High Priestess, the Divine, the Priestess, the counterpart to the Hierophant, to the Pope, and we've got her pomegranate symbol of femininity there. 100% Taurus. Expect to feel intuitive. Trust any intuitive nudges you have. Intuitive knowing, uh, heart knowing, overhead knowing is the way for you to go this Virgo season. Taurus. If you enjoyed this reading and you're not already, I hope you will consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Brightest Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces blessings to you. Hello, Gemini, 1438. Okay, you're the first of the signs to have a reversal. I'm going to show him to you the right way up. The King of Romance, uh, Roses, Romance. Yep, he is the King of Romance or the King of Cups. He's upside down. 
Okay, what we see is him incredibly nostalgically looking at some picked roses. He's walking amongst yellow roses, which are roses of friendship, but the roses he has in his hands are a white rose and a red rose. So he's looking for a divine counterpart. So Gemini, I think you might be feeling a little bit out of sorts in terms of love. You may be suffering unrequited love. You may be yearning for uh, a lover to come in. Let's see what the other cards have to say. I'm looking for a little bit more clarification. The other card, the other signs have had two cards, but I'll continue to pull to try and get to the bottom of this for you. It's here. It's here. Okay. Okay. And this is the third and last. Okay. All right, Gemini. This backs this up. You may have had uh, the beginnings of a romance. One's can be players. You could have had somebody come in with, in with a small flirtatious offer and then suddenly go quiet. On his wands, he has acorns. Now acorns are abundance and fertility. So let's see. The next card though is the Six of Swords. You're rowing away from this. You're rowing away from this sense of heartbreak and loss. Now this is uh, a reading for lots of people. So there's various different ways. Either you feel this way, that you've been hurt or lost in love, or that you are generally lacking love in your life. You could have thought somebody promising was coming in and it fizzled out and it went nowhere. With sadness and regret, you've moved away from the situation. But you do have the lovers. Now we are entering retrograde season on the 9th. Mercury retrograde. So this page of wands could come back. And it could end up in this blissful, blessed union. However, the lovers is a card of choice. I want you to feel empowered. I'm going to flip you. There you go, Gemini. I want you to feel empowered that you have the choice whether you accept this potential player who possibly caused you heartbreak back in. You have the choice, lovers, or to move on because I am not seeing, in all honesty, this page of wands is page being capable of meeting you as the romantic king. Why would a king want a page? Just say. Okay, Gemini, if you enjoyed or felt that was particularly a resonant reading for you this Virgo season, I hope you will consider subscribing, liking and sharing. Brightest blessings to you. Gemini, 1913. Hello, Cancer. The Muse is your card. Okay, this is the first major arcana of the signs out. The Muse. Somebody could be daydreaming about you. You could be somebody's Muse. Or you could be hearing the call of the muse. This could be a spiritual calling. You're hearing those pipes playing and calling to you. Let's draw a couple more cards for clarification. But this is big because it's the first major arcana out. 
Look at all the blossom and the abundance on that card. And of course, we've got the divination bowl. She's also sort of stood between two pillars, similar to the High Priestess. Cancer, you are an intuitive spiritual sign. This one. Oh yes, a star. It's all about you. It's all about you, Cancer. I've got a feeling, Cancer, you're somebody's muse. I've got a feeling, Cancer, you have a secret admirer. Somebody who you inspire. Which one? This one. That's Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Six of Pentacles is a card of balance, equal give and take, fairness and a reciprocity. You can see that the pentacles are spread equally and fairly across the sails. Fair winds, smooth sailing. Yep. Yeah. I've actually got a feeling, Gemini. No, Cancer, I've got a feeling. Um, somebody could possibly ask you to possibly sit for a photograph or for a portrait. Uh, want to write a song about you or a poem about you, you are inspiring somebody. You might just shine this Virgo season. Really, I'm getting cancer. All eyes on you. That is, this is really fascinating. Cancer, I would love you to leave me a comment if between the coming full moon on the 9th of September and our next full moon in October, you do have your moment in the spotlight and you do shine. And wouldn't it be fantastic if somebody did ask you to sit for a portrait or a photograph or was inspired to write a song or a poem about you? Fascinating reading, Cancer. If you enjoyed this reading, I hope you will consider liking, subscribing, sharing brightest Virgo harvest moon blessings to you, Cancer. Okay, I paused there because I've actually missed Cancer out, but intuitively I put Cancer in. So now we are on Leo. It was Cancer that was 19, 13. Bear with me, guys. This is a lot to do. Uh, 2308. Leo. 2308. Leo. You have the King of Scrolls. Very thoughtful and considered. Now, Leo, you are looking towards this card, which is going to be the card of Virgo. So if you're a late born Leo, close to the Virgo sign in particular, you may want to watch the Virgo reading, which I haven't done yet, so I don't know what's there. But just a warning, because that card is what the King is looking towards. Okay, the King of Scrolls. Queen of Scrolls has already been out for another sign. So you might want to watch that. What would it have been? Pisces, Aries, Taurus. You might want to watch the Taurus reading because your counterpart came out in a Taurus reading. Okay, Leo. You are looking very pensive. You've got a completed scroll in your arms. Your arms are crossed. You've got two rolled up scrolls here and another one you're working on. You've got these gates behind you. You've either got a dawn or a sunset. Put the work down. Sometimes the King of Scrolls needs to get out of his head, get away from learning and to go through the gates. So we're talking metaphorically here and embrace the big wide world, to let himself out of his very beautifully 
manicured castle garden, leave the important business of the kingdom for a while and to go off and explore. I've got a couple more cards here. Oh, that one very definite. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful, Leo. And this one. Oh, the world. Leo. Completion of a cycle. 100%. Hurry up. Finish the business of the kingdom. Look at the abundance that's coming in for you. Notice all the treasures are under the sea. Starfish, we've got an oyster with a pearl here. She's got pearls all around her, gold coins. You're not going to find those, Leo, in your nice country garden. You're going to have to go through those gates to find the sea and find the treasures. Look at your world card. Completing of a circle, cycle, brand new beginning. You're finished with the hard work, with the hard lessons. Leo, I'm absolutely delighted for you because I know some Leos who've had a pretty tough recent cycle. The message could not be clearer, Leo. This world card actually looks like a wheel of fortune because we have the elements surrounding the four corners like we do on the wheel of fortune. The wheel's turning, changing cycle, Leo. Changing cycle for you. Step through the gates. Be brave this season, step through the gates because abundance and a, a whole new world is waiting for you. Stunning reading, Leo. If you enjoyed it, if it resonated with you, please consider giving it a like, a share and a subscribe. That was your Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces reading. Brightest blessings. 27.45. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Hello. One of scrolls on track. Now this can mean several things. So I'm glad I'm going to pull some other cards. You've come through the waiting room. The train's in, your bag's packed, one foot is on the train. You should be looking forwards. You should not be turning and casting a look over your shoulder. Get on the train. It's going to pull out of the station. Turn your head. You're on the right track. You are on track. Okay, get on the train. Why do you need to get on the train? Why are you on track? What are you on track for? What are you moving towards this Virgo season? It's your own season, Virgo. And look at you in your business suit. How very Virgoan. Virgoan? Don't even know if there's such a word. There is now. Seven of Cups. Uh -huh, I know why you don't want to get on the train. Oh, the Six of Cups. Perfect. Okay. This is a brilliant Seven of Cups. What you fear is that you've been presented with simply too much choice. Look at all of those cups. This mermaid has the choice. Some of the cups consider less pleasant surprises. And you can see her arms, they're almost thrown up in sort of fear of making possibly the wrong choice. You won't make the wrong choice. You'll make the right choice, the Six of Cups. Look at it, look at that romance, that proposal. He's actually down on one knee, the sailor, 
proposing to the mermaid. There are two different elements and yet we've got the rainbow. She's accepting the cup of love. Get on the bloody train, Virgo. You won't make the wrong choice. You've come so far. Trust your intuition. It's going to lead you towards this very, very beautiful Six of Cups. Rainbows, flowers, starfish waiting for you, Virgo. Virgo, if you liked this reading, if it resonated for you, I hope you will consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Brightest Virgo harvest moon in Pisces blessings to you. 31 exactly, Libra. Ah, Libra, second sign to get a major arcana card, Archangel Michael. Look at that flaming heart. Look at these two children, little girls clutching his leg, little boys raising his arms to be picked up. And very handsome, muscular Archangel Michael uh, is looking directly at the small child, clearly going to pick him up. Um, operate Libra from, from a heart space. Uh, possibly I'm going to draw some more cards for clarification. A need for heart healing. Um, if you're feeling a little lost and friendless, you know, call upon Archangel Michael. Just look at these pure iridescent wings. Surround yourself with this white light of protection. Why is Archangel Michael here? We've got a number nine for Libra. Getting towards the completion of a cycle with that number. Why is the number nine here? Why is Archangel Michael? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yes, that was that one. Ha ah, ah. ha! Oops, shouldn't laugh. That one? That one? Okay. Uh, Libra, you might be feeling tempted. And I'm, th I'm, I'm, I'm getting in the love department. The devil's not much different than the lovers. You can see here, the lovers are chained. But instead of the angel in the sky, we have a devil. So you may be healing from a broken heart. You might be feeling particularly uh, lustful and apprehensive and a little bit nervous about a relationship. What I'm getting is it's all perspective. It's up to you whether we have an angel blessing the union or a devil and two people feeling chained and bound by a union. Eight of Wands, events happening very quickly, possibly why you are feeling this devil energy. Things are rushing, moving too quickly. If you are feeling overwhelmed by the speed of events, either in a new relationship or um, in a relationship which is dying, Call on Archangel Michael to help you. Step into your heart space. Surround yourself by that healing white love. Don't let the speed of events or the sheer number of events flying in at you allow you to feel chained and trapped. I'm going to leave you with that, that image. Get into your heart space, 
ask the angels, particularly Archangel Mike Michael, to support you and help you if you are feeling overwhelmed. Libra, I would absolutely love to know in the comments what the devil energy or situation you are feeling overwhelmed by is. Libra, if you enjoyed this reading, I hope you will consider giving me a like, a share, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Brightest Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces, blessings to you. Scorpio, 35, 44. Oh, Scorpio, my favourite king of them all, the king of forces. Scorpio. So a water sign in a full water moon. I'll tell you what, first of all, why this king is my favourite. He's very grounded. He's not wearing finery. He's out in nature. We have the stag, the wolf, the rabbit, animals that would not normally be together. And yet this man, with no effort at all, appears to be uh, containing them, mm, putting them in harmony together. We've got water, we've got earth, and we've got air going on here. Um, you are looking, Scorpio, towards the card for Sagittarius. So there might be something in the Sagittarian reading for you, particularly if you're a late born Scorpio, quite close to a Sagittarius birthday. Okay, let's have a look. So you are grounded. You appear to be harmoniously in control of events around you and people around you, possibly people that would not normally be expected to get on. So Scorpio possibly playing this, the peacemaker this season. Why are you harnessing all of these elements? Stag, uh, wolf or rabbit might actually be a spirit animal for you. The sky above, that purpley sky, you might actually see. Oh, the Queen of Cups, uh, water sign, Queen, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to deal with this. I think what you're looking towards is this. The gardener's card and this mermaid is steadily growing and harvesting her pentacles from her seaweed she's leaning looks to be we can't see the bottom of it but a spade she's done the groundwork she's dug in and she is now reaping the rewards of her labor queen of cups Emotional, heart-centred. Um, she looks like the most beautiful fairy, doesn't she? It's a mermaid deck, but she looks like a fairy. The Queen of Cups. Is the Queen of Cups, how do we go, Cancer? I think the Queen of Cups actually might be the Scorpio card. So why are you feeling so wonderful? Because you're in your own element. And yet you're not in your own element. Because here's the water element. I said she looks like a fairy, but I have just seen her mermaid tail. So air. I'm controlling all elements. Scorpio, this season, um, it's we're in an earth sign, but you are feeling very at home this season. You are feeling very grounded, very stable. Uh, very at home and very abundant. You've done the hard work, you're reaping the rewards of that hard work. You are clearly powerful and emotionally stable. I think you might be at a really, really lovely point 
uh, in your life, Scorpio, at the moment, where you feel emotionally content, where you feel financially abundant, where you really do feel that you've got it all under control. Fabulous reading, Scorpio. Brightest Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces blessings to you. If you enjoyed this reading and you're not already, I hope you will consider subscribing, sharing, liking. Sagittarius 4030. We're getting very synchronistic numbers now towards the end. Oh, Major Arcana, Sagittarius, the light of the world. Very akin to the Hermit card, except this is you, Sagittarius. You're in the house, the window's open. You've got a cat sitting here at your feet, looking up at you, intuition. Perhaps the cat's meowing and you're looking down at the cat. The cat's alerting you to spirit. Who is out here beckoning to you. So really deepen your connection, Sagittarius. Um, I asked Scorpio, because this was Scorpio's card. Looking towards this card. So the same deal for you, Sagittarius, particularly if you're an early first decan Sagittarius, quite close to Scorpio. Uh, you are being called by spirit. So deepen your strength, deepen strength in your spiritual practices. Listen to your intuition. Watch out for signs and synchronicities. Okay, the light of the world. Why is spirit calling towards Sagittarius? How is Sagittarius going to deepen their connection? Why? The tower. It's in reverse, guys. Whoop, whoop. And the emperor. Do you know what? They're not in reverse. I think I've picked the cards up upside down because, yeah, I have. So sorry. Okay, big cards. They're all major arcana. Are you the only sign? And you're the tenth out. Okay, Sagittarius. This is important. Deepen your connection to spirit. Watch out for signs and synchronicities. Listen to your cat. And that's a metaphor, but it might be listen to an animal. Um, they're trying to give you a warning. Tower is an incredibly big, rapid, sudden change. It's shocking. Whether it's good or bad shocking, it's shocking. So be on your guard. Listen to your intuition. You have got the emperor the biggest daddy of them all, the captain of the ship. Um, and the emperor can be a father figure, the emperor can be a boss. Sudden big shocking change around a key male, an alpha male figure in your life. You'll know who this is. It might even be if you resonate with, considering this is spirit, God himself. Yeah, that's incredibly powerful Sagittarius. To get three major arcanas and three huge major arcanas. The Hermit or Light of the World. The Tower and the Emperor. And I can feel a little bit dizzy as I'm talking. 
so I'm not a medical doctor. I do suffer from a sort of lightheadedness anyway. It just might be the overwhelming energy of the cards, but Sagittarius. If you've been feeling dizzy, if you've got any kind of like health, slight health concern, uh, possibly consider seeing a doctor. It's not alarmist. It really is nothing to worry about. But something very, very big is going to happen this, this season. It might be very sudden and shocking and you might literally feel that your world has exploded. You have got the emperor who looks after, ironically, the kingdom. So it's all going to be okay. But please, if you watch this reading, particularly be it on the outlook for signs and synchronicities this month. That the cat is trying to draw your attention to. You are surrounded by spirit. Sagittarius, that's an incredibly powerful reading. I don't quite know what to make of it, but that's the message. And I am just the messenger. Please leave me a comment in the comments box because I would love to know what this big life changing event coming in for you is and who the Emperor is for you. Brightest Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces blessings to you, Sagittarius. Capricorn. 4636. Capricorn, you have the scribe. Uh, this is, I think, our third major arcana out for a sign. Okay, so we have some monks working away in a scriptorum, in a library of a monastery. We have completed scrolls here piled up. Their work is being checked over by a master here in his white robe who appears to be editing or correcting. Okay, so there could be a big focus for you, Capricorn, on work this Virgo season. We are in Capricorn and Earth season. So you are in your element and you are known for being the workaholic. If you're involved, Capricorn, in writing for a living, uh, check your work and double check your work. It's a, I think it's a fertile period for you. It's a period of industry, but there's a little warning to have your work checked and edited. What else? What else can we find for Capricorn? That one? Very definite energy Capricorn. Strength, I've put them down upside down again. Strength. And the other one? This one. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. We'll go to the Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, because it is... Um, Pentacles are Earth, connected to Earth. Nine of Pentacles, absolute abundance. Look at that wealth of treasure she has in her chest. And boy, is she loving, adorning herself in all of that bling. I think you're going to be feeling very stable. You are going to be reaping the rewards of this hard work, this Virgo season, Capricorn. I think probably because you've been strong enough, particularly if it's something, you're something like you're self-employed, or you've taken quite a big gamble or risk recently with, with finances or with business, expect it to pay off so if you made a big purchase um if you've changed jobs um if you made a risky business move if you opened your own business capricorn under this virgo season so up until the full moon in libra expect to be feeling like this flamboyant mermaid 
just a note of caution hard work and get paperwork okay get paperwork triple checked if you sign any legal contracts or documents get them triple checked that just came in at the very last minute capricorn please let me know what this big nine of pentacles moment is for you leave me a comment if you've enjoyed that reading please consider liking sharing subscribing if you're not already brightest virgo harvest moon in pisces blessings to you aquarius eight of scrolls beautiful now you're looking towards a path So we look towards the next card, which was the Pisces card. So before we talk about paths unknown for you, I want you to consider work-life balance. And you might want to look at the Pisces reading because there might be something in there for you, Aquarius, particularly if you are a late born towards the end of February, Pisces, uh, sorry, Aquarius. Okay, eight of scroll, paths unknown. You've got a traveller. You've got your bag of scrolls with you. And you've reached a clearing. And you've got three different paths to choose. Look how, now Aquarius, you are contemplative. And you are a sign that's likely to choose the road less travelled because my friend you are an adventurer and you like your travel i love that you're just taking that quiet pause surrounded by all of these forest animals we've got a raccoon we've got a squirrel we've got a fox we've got some birds and you're just not threatened not overwhelmed you're just considering hmm which path shall i go down let's have a look and see if we can gain any clarification as to which path you should go down. doesn't matter, I'm being told. All roads lead to Rome, it's about the journey. That one. Oh, Ace of Cups and Justice. What a reading to end on. I just said it doesn't matter which path you go down, it's about enjoying the journey and all roads leading to Rome. Whichever path you take is going to lead you to this complete emotional fulfilment. You are going to feel my cup runneth over. We have the bird of peace here diving into this water which is overflowing being held up by this hand, almost like the Lady of the Lake. There's so much going on here. We've got the Christian imagery of the, the bird of, of peace. Um, absolutely beautiful. Justice, okay, beautiful. Justice is about balance. Look, she's got the balance. And I told you to look towards the Pisces card, balance. Uh, Aquarius, expect to feel wonderful this season, emotionally fulfilled. The scales are finally in your effect, tipping in your favour. If you've had a situation where you have been unfairly treated or overlooked, um, not been recognised for your work or your commitment, that's about to change this season. There's been some stunning readings in here. Stunning new deck has not let me down. Aquarius. Enjoy the journey because it's all going to lead to emotional fulfillment and justice. You just keep on doing you and enjoying the journey. Take the road less travelled because it will lead to karmic justice 
and emotional fulfillment and absolutely stunning reading Aquarius. If you enjoyed that Aquarius, I hope you will consider liking, sharing, subscribing and please leave me a comment about what you encounter when you take your path. All signs, that has been your Virgo Harvest Moon in Pisces reading. Brightest blessings.